And good day. You're flying Torrance Unfriendly Skies. We will be flying the SU-9. You can tell that the patch has gone in. <clears throat> For information on the patch, please see my previous video on patch 2.0.7. Um, there have been a lot of changes. They're too numerous to go through during the course of this flight. Um, needless to say, though, you're going to want to get camouflage on your aircraft. That would be the first thing I suggest. Cover your allies, hit the enemy, and we shall win! Enjoy the cinematics here, and then we will. Uh, I have been trying to get a good uh, full upgrade video on the SU 9. Unfortunately, the Gods of War decided that I would have three battles in which the other side got to take down, put my plane down with a heavy hand, and rip my tail feathers off. Show Very me quickly. what you can do, pilots. Let's roll. And that's kind of interesting. I'm not real thrilled with it, but that's life. That did not get the job done. We'll come back with a second bomb. My God, that got. All right, so we have attack point. Let's see where everybody else is at. Here over the military base with the rockets. That's done. I suspect we're going to want the air base. Okay. Keep flipping directions. <laughs> Trying to decide which share base to go for. Trying to make a decision, I guess. Now, put them on alt mode here. aircraft. I got destroyed by an air defense aircraft, but we got the base. That's all that matters. So 
off alt mode, choose our, we'll get right back into the battle, go right back to alt mode, and there is the aircraft that we need to attack. Now this is attorney burning and I am not in the least bit interested in getting close to him. Not any closer than I have to. We have control of all airfields in this area. Tactical superiority achieved. is launching rocket strikes on our complex. Try to neutralize the enemy military base. Okay, you got an assistant destroying a ground attack aircraft. Try to help us where we can. And I think we're about to get it. Have a P-47N coming in, obviously, with the idea that he's going to take the base from us. I object. You can always tell when that 45 hits. Bam! 150 points away, right that second. The XP-72 is an interesting aircraft, I just thought it was. Unnecessarily restricted. We have an F-7F up here. Very dangerous heavy fighter. I know, I had one. Still one of my favorite heavy fighters at its tier. And I have somebody on my tail, obviously. Uh, yeah. All right. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. And the 45 strikes us. Devastating authority once again. Okay, we're chewed up. We have a 265 here. Flaps, suck it in a little bit. Set them on fire. I'm in a turning circle with a zero and surviving. Something intrinsically wrong about that. Not that I'm complaining too much, don't get me wrong. But they've taken the airbase from us and I am out here at the Long Charlie. And that being Keep the case, it up! Victory is almost ours! I'm going to keep fighting.
All enemy aircraft are destroyed. All right, Air wherever the last aircraft, achieved. we have superiority. By the way, one of the changes is that superiority no longer gives the rush of points that you to get very quickly. Which, I uh, hate to say it, but it is kind of welcome. All right, so we won a few things here. Hunt for Falcon, which has destroyed at least six multi-role fighters. Third in the combat group. Expert pilot. Let's go back to the hangar. and see what we actually accomplished. Okay, 96928 for silver, 8350 for experience, and 417 for free experience. <clears throat> all in all, not too bad. Uh, 12 aerial targets destroyed, 6191 good damage to ground targets. Only destroyed one ground target. No big deal. Wasn't uh, particularly going after him that particular point. Assistance in destroying another three. Team score. I came in third. D Bang Din, 88, uh, came in first. And Cobalt Wild and his I 220 came in second. And the gentleman here. Uh, on the other side, did very well. All right. There is your SU-9 fully upgraded. Well, what does the full upgrade get you? Uh, each one of the engine upgrades gives you about six miles an hour. Um, you can tell by airspeed, 288 is your cruising speed, 516 is your boosted, uh, uh, boosted speed, and boost duration is 15 seconds. Uh, there's no airframe upgrade here. <clears throat> you can purchase these almost immediately. Um, this is the big change, which is the 45 NS45. 45 millimeter, I should say. And of course you get the two FAB 250 bombs, which are 550 pound high explosive bombs. Um, it's a reasonable aircraft. It's not very fast. It can compete fairly well with other multi rolls as you saw. Um, and heavy fighters, though you will have to deal with the altitude. Its failings are the lack of speed, which is low, and the lack of altitude, which at this level is pretty bad. Uh, 4,600 feet. There's nothing to write home about. I've made my feelings clear on this aircraft. You know, you go to an aircraft and you want something spectacular about it. There is nothing spectacular about the aircraft except the gun, which is the third iteration of this gun in this line. Um, and even that, that, you give up a good deal of DPS. The 37 millimeter is much more authoritative and hits harder and will raise your DPS by another 100 uh, something points. So if you go here and you mount the weapon, yeah, you lose some range. What you gain from it is another 100 DPS. So you have to make a decision with that. Um, <coughs> I find it uh, adds an amusement factor in a aircraft that needs a little bit of zing to it, but this is strictly your own choice. I am ambivalent at best about this airplane. I have not given it a recommendation just because it's so what to me. You know, there ought to be something about every plane that you find exciting, that's fun to, to deal with, and this one doesn't have that. And it's not that anything's really wrong with the aircraft, it isn't. Um, but you plow through, and you go to the 211 and the 215, and you attach the I dash in front of it, of course. Um, and you go, okay, what do you get? Well, 
you know, I want to, you want to be somewhat excited about the aircraft, but what's coming up next? Well, airspeed. I'll tell you right now, it's going to go up a little. Okay, but it isn't going up a lot. Uh, maneuverability is still the 12.5 second altitude performance. is goes up about 400 feet. Um, survivability goes up. And the gun armaments, you get three. Now, this might make it interesting. The three uh, 37 N-37. Uh, and now you get a lot more. Oh, so you got something to look forward to. Um, so that might make it a little more fun. And I'm trying to find something desperately here to uh, be fun about. Um, again, you get the three uh, now this might be interesting. What do we have here? These are 37 millimeters, but they're reaching out at the same range as the 45 millimeters. Huh. Let's see if it gives us any more information. So that's a 450. Cumulative and here. Let's take a look at this. 280. You're still getting short range, and it's going. To, therefore, you know it's going to be arky. And these are not going to be arky. Not coming out to this kind of range, but they're going to be slow. And it looks like that's going to, with the full gun upgrade. You're going to end up with a. Uh, A real sniper hitting somebody with 450 uh, damage in one salvo at uh, 31115 is going to be kind of fun. When you look at the gun armament here, you're going to get a pair of the 57 millimeters. Boy, those things do some damage. I'm going to assume that is going to be um, rated towards ground attack because when I used them on the I, they come on the I, IL-20. And so when you see that, you're going to, uh, they're terrific anti-material uh, weapons. The five shots would take down even the heaviest armed targets armored targets, I should say, on ground attack, but they are terrible, and I mean awful anti-aircraft weapons. <laughs> um, but that might be okay if they reduce the cycle on the bombs. The bombs uh, are either 160 or 180, I'm not sure which, to get uh, a reload on them. Uh, overall, uh, this is a competent aircraft, but that's the best I can say about it. It's not terribly exciting. I prefer the IL-40 for ground attack, but I can't use an IL-40 to shoot down multi-ops and heavy fighters that wander into your area. As you can see, I fought a battle against competent opponents and came out very well on it. Um, but I didn't have to deal with fighters over my own territory or the areas I was fighting. Um, so you're going to have to make your own call on this. It's not an aircraft I'm recommending all that much. I just don't find it all that exciting. I will go up the line because that's my job. Uh, if you're asking me if I'm going to get it up there very quickly, no. It's just like the 262 right now. There's a great aircraft waiting on the other side of the 262. The 262 uh, HG2, which is wonderful, except I can't stand flying the 262. Um, and it's going to kind of go on that category. When I finish flying all the fighters I really want to fly, uh, and multi-ops that I really want to fly, uh, then I'll go get, get this. But I've got to be straight up honest. Um, that's my idea of a multi-op. It drops its ordinance. Yes, it does have a slow recycle time on it, but not as slow as the SU. Nine. Um, it drops more ordnance. It doesn't have as nearly as effective a cannon armament, 
but with a 10.5 uh, uh, turning uh, circle, it can compete with fighters. Now, it's not going to compete with your turn and burn fighters, but it can still compete with fighters. So you can drop your entire ordnance load and immediately go into uh, attacking uh, air defense fighters. And I find that very reasonable. The difference is on the SU-9 uh, is that you can actually go after bombers very successfully where this aircraft I do not recommend along, this along with the F-86 I do not recommend going after attack bomber formations with <clears throat> the uh, 50 calibers are just do not do enough damage and you're going to be uh, shot down now, one of the things about the patch here is the defensive armament on attack bombers is going to get tougher. The uh, turret gunners are going to be more protected. These are things to be aware of. You know, some of the, uh, you know, so it's really going to start coming to heavy fighters to start carrying the load against bombers. Uh, and let your fighters go after the fighters. And if you don't have enough discipline on this, I suspect in the upcoming uh, deal uh, event that you're going to be unhappy if you don't respect that. Now, this does have, you know, 12 rockets. You can use those against the bombers. If you, and especially, I would recommend getting the rocketeer if you're going to do that uh, specification on your pilot skill. Um, and that can be found here. So when this guy gets some more experience, I will get that. Because that turns him into a fairly effective, this aircraft platform into a fairly effective um, bomber killer. You know, worst comes to worst, you can even throw your tiny Tims at it. There's no bomber on the face of the planet that will survive impact by one of those. But uh, as for the SU-9, let's get back to it here. Um, one of the advantages of this aircraft is that it does have very effective bomber killing armaments and that works against fighters too because it has a twin 23 millimeters and when the 45 goes off it will usually end the argument very quickly so that's uh, when you hit with it now you can't count on it you know they doubled uh, the rate of fire it might be another thing um, but that's how the aircraft sits right now. It's an okay aircraft, and, you know, with the final upgrade, it becomes to me kind of, uh, gone from something that I just don't like all that much to something that, uh, I'm ambivalent about. I'll give it that much. I'll, I'll say I'm ambivalent about the aircraft. With more experience, I might change my mind. I win in it more than I lose. I will state that right up in front. But it just doesn't give me anything that makes me get really excited about fighting and playing. And that's what you need in this game. All right. That's going to wrap this one up. I want to thank you for watching. Please remember to like the video, to subscribe. And if you want to uh, donate to the channel, you can do so by going to the channel page and hitting the Patreon link. Thank you very much. We'll see you later.